I just texted with the customer and confirmed, so the appointment is still good to go. I'm headed there now. From what I could tell on the phone, this was a cockroach service. German cockroaches, so that's very exciting. Hopefully, hopefully it's a good infestation for the video's sake. For the customer's sake, hopefully it's not that bad. I got this customer through a leads generation software called EverConnect. Uh, they're actually a sister company to Brio Stack, which is very cool. It is a beautiful day. We got a backpacker there. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing, but the mountains are calling, guys. And so are the cockroaches, so we're here. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna do an initial inspection first and get payment and see how everything looks. <clears throat> Yeah, I see a little bit. I don't see any live ones right now. I see some droppings. See like around those little black dots right uh, there. That's the eggs. Yeah, uh, that's just the droppings. What uh, does that dropping mean? Like the poop. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't see any live ones. Has the house been treated before? No. No? Okay. I know there's gonna be a lot. Yes, yes. It is cockroaches inside the house. So here's what we've got today gloves going on first, uh, Teco Trio, Doxum NXT, flashlight, blue boards, b and hand sprayer. You know, there was a lot of cockroach droppings on the kitchen, but I didn't see any live ones. Of course, I didn't do a super, super thorough inspection. It was just an initial kind of see how it looks. Um, I collected payment and I got her authorization for me to video and I get these comments a lot. Sometimes people say I don't ask permission to video. I always ask permission to video if I'm inside. <laughs> if I'm outside someone's house doing a service and it's nothing personal, you know, is in the video. Sometimes I'll just video, you know, just outside, no big deal. But if I'm inside, I'm always asking permission first. So in my B&G right now, I just have water. I have a whole gallon mixed up mixed just a gallon of water so i'm going to put in the teco trio now so a little, a little frozen it was just cold last night super super cold in the teens i think i'm not going to show you the treatment of the whole house uh just the kitchen all right so we've got one fluid ounce of teco trio going into one gallon of water always wear gloves while mixing guys it's what the label says it's also safe. Wipe it off with this rag. I always take a rag with me. Then I just throw it in the wash almost every day. Uh, so, Teco Trio is ready to go. We're just gonna pressurize it. Shake it up. I talked to the lady. She only wanted me to film in the kitchen area. She didn't want the rest of the house filmed. So I'm gonna spray the house first, just a general treatment around the house and then we're going to uh, treat the kitchen together. There's a there's a little dorm fridge. I'll show you how I treat that too. But yeah, so about to go in. I'm gonna do a lap around the baseboards with the Teco Trio in the B&G. Put out some glue boards, and then I'll see you in the kitchen, and we'll get the kitchen treated. You want to pump this up pretty good. The the more you pump it, the smaller the particles are. But you don't want to overdo it, you know, don't don't break the thing. It, it, these things are very hardy, but they do break eventually. I'm doing the kitchen now. Just, I've already done the whole rest of the house and there were some really interesting areas. I've found signs of roach activity. I still haven't seen a live cockroach yet. I've seen a few dead ones. I was actually talking to the homeowner and she said that they had brought in a box of, a box of toys for like Christmas um, it was like given to them and she set it to the side and then a couple days later she opened the box and there were a dozen roaches that ran out. So that's probably what has happened here. She said this was like a month ago. It could have been longer. Um, it was probably a combination of those roaches and maybe not the like perfect cleanest habits. Um, you know, old cabinets give roaches a lot of places to hide. So we're going to focus on the kitchen here. I see cockroach droppings all along the bottom here, up underneath the cabinets. The cockroaches, they're in these cabinets. They're hiding up in the cracks and crevices. Whenever they start to come out and feed, 
they're gonna run over the doors, run over all kinds of surfaces. So the more surfaces you can cover, the better. But of course, you don't want to completely cover everything in the cabinets. A lot of pest companies will pull out everything in the cabinets. I don't think that's necessary. I think it's much more work than it's worth. Sometimes it is necessary for the really bad roach infestations, but if you could treat, especially like, uh, if you could treat up and under, that's where they're mostly hiding. They're not, the roaches aren't infesting on the ground. They're up in the corners. They're here and up under here and here and at the back behind the sink there. That's where all the roaches are hiding. So pulling out these, it's really not necessary as long as you're not spraying down onto the, the pots and pans, then they're gonna be fine. But it is really important to get on your hands and knees and get up there and actually spray them. Sometimes if you're good, you can use a hack like this to spray up. But it is really important to get dirty a little bit is that's where the roaches are hiding. They're not hiding in easy to access places, unfortunately. So there's roach droppings up here in between this crack, but that's where I'm gonna use this Doxum NXT. It's got this nozzle. This is more for like baseboard, the back of the cabinets up for a larger surface area. Making our way over to the dishwasher here. Unfortunately, with most dishwashers, they're bolted in, and I'm not gonna go to the trouble to unbolt them. I will sometimes give it a little tug, just so I can see what's going on behind there. And if you're really good, you just aim. So the BNG, I have it set to a fan. It sprays back, so it's gonna just perfectly spray that crack back there. You just get much as you can and all the way down on the ground too. Like I was saying, they don't nest on the ground, but they still will walk on the ground. So that's why you wanna spray the baseboards also in the kitchen. So I haven't done that yet, but you know, for example, just really quickly, you'll just do a, a baseboard spray just like that. The upper cabinets I found can actually, can have more roaches than the bottom cabinets. Roaches and bed bugs, guys, they love to hide up under things. So inevitably they just start crawling up looking for little places to hide and they can be up um, in the upper cabinets, usually more than the bottom cabinets. And I always check, make sure there's nothing above the cabinets, but I will just give a general spray up above the cabinets there as well if the roaches are heavily infested. For example, this is what I'm, I'm seeing over and over again in this house. We have droppings up there. See those dots, those just smears? Droppings there. Droppings there in that corner. Those droppings there as well. But again, I still haven't seen any live roaches. So that's really good news. A couple things may be happening if I'm not seeing any live roaches. Like I said, they could have, um, done a number on them with the over-the-counter stuff, or they could have been mostly brought in with that box I was talking about earlier. There's always a gap between the cabinets. See, I can stick my whole fingers up in there. Same with over here. You always want to try to spray up in that crack if you can. Just a quick spray. Just like that. More droppings, but no live roaches yet. We have our first live cockroach. Just a baby. One of the first instars, maybe second. But uh, right there, German cockroach. Sorry about the uh, light strobing. I'm gonna have to research that, fix it. But yes, that is a German cockroach right there. Okay, so this is the main hotspot cabinet so far. I'm gonna spend a little extra time here. This is what we're doing. It's going straight back against the cabinet wall. So it's not touching any glasses. There's a roach that's just been flushed out. That's an adult, full grown adult cockroach. German cockroach, of course. Or maybe it's a male, but yes, that is the German cockroach we've been treating for. See how it's cleaning its antennas right there? 
that's one of the main ways the cockroaches pick up the chemicals. Of course, they pick it up on their feet, but they also pick it up on their antennas. Their antennas are extremely important sensory organs. And I just treated it with the Teco Trio and also the Doxum NXT. So, of course, it's not dead yet, insect growth regulators. So, we want this cockroach to stay alive for a few more days and take the chemicals and the growth regulators back to the other cockroach friends and spread it to the other roaches. So that's the plan. It's, it's alive for a reason. I promise if I wanted to kill it, I could right now. But that's the German cockroach infestation. And they can crawl upside down. <laughs> Let's move on to this section of the kitchen. Easiest way to pull back a stove, grab it. Um, by the handle and grab it right here and pick up a little bit and pull out. Nothing back there. No infestation. So I'm just going to spray a little bit around. I do love an open pantry. These are really common like shelving materials and there are these are open so they're metal and painted but they're open and I've seen a lot of times commercial kitchens having these and being absolutely infested with roaches. There is nothing here, but just for example, if there were cockroaches in between these metal spokes here, you just, I use a Doxum NXT and I spray it in there. That's gonna leave a residual to take care of any roaches that happen to be in that area. But I haven't seen any, I'm just gonna do a very thorough inspection up and down all of these support columns and around the pantry areas but I sprayed the back wall you know and there's not many places for them to hide with this and they don't like hiding in the daylight either so I'm not too worried about this area. So we're going to move on to behind the refrigerator. I'm gonna pull this out and see how it looks. So baby ones, adult ones running around not too bad though all things considered. If you've watched my videos before, I've seen much, much worse than this, but lots of dead ones back there. And I actually saw some ants in the kitchen earlier. Yes, so quickly before they get away, just gonna do a quick, quick Teco Trio spray against the walls there. The back of this fridge is metal, so I won't be able to take this off without a screwdriver. Tons of already dead ones back here and lots of egg sacs, German cockroach egg sac, also called an Uthica right here. But this Doxman XT is perfect. I'm going to spray back into some of this electrical stuff. Let's see what we can and the particles on this are really small. It's not a true fog chemical, but it is going to get really small particles, stay in the air for a few seconds and get back and get those particles on some of those wirings back in there. And I'm just gonna, I'm, I mean, I almost always do this, but I just sprayed the back of the fridge really well. No one's gonna be back here touching anything. I'm gonna push this back against the wall. So, so before we go, just again, that's what's behind the fridge. It's dirty and it needs to be cleaned, vacuumed. So I'm gonna let the homeowners know to clean it a little bit. Yeah. There's also a spider right there. So here's the spider. You just spray it. This Teco Trio is, it's a general insecticide. While it is a growth regulator, it's also a general insecticide. So it'll take care of that spider. It'll take care of the ants I found at the bottom of the pantry. So if you can see that glare, some of my spray accidentally came out here and there's one of the first and stars of a German cockroach. It's just a baby. This is also pest control. <laughs> but um, I always take a rag with me. So if I accidentally spray a little bit out where I didn't want to spray, just wipe it up and then I take this home. Throw it in the washer at the end of every day. I have multiple rags, I promise. It's not just this one. So I am done with the kitchen. I'm gonna take a look at the front. Sometimes 
or just have wiring in the front or other hiding places. There are also some spots in the bathroom I wanted to show you. So see up there, this is right above the shower. There's those black, black spots. Those are cockroach droppings also. So I just spray it with the Doxum NXT. There were enough droppings there. I thought there might've been a little infestation hiding, but there wasn't. I haven't seen any in the other parts of the house. Oh, there are actually some up there. See, okay. I gotta trust my instincts more. There was probably a more area to hide up there than I realized. Oh, I just saw an antenna actually. I think there might be one about to come out. <gasps> ooh, ooh, you guys see that activity? A couple more sprays. Boom. There's another one up there. I don't know if it's gonna come out. But down here is the adult cockroach. The adult that I just got out of that crack. Crazy, right? Never would have thought it was up there. Okay, the last spot I wanted to show you was this is on the ceiling, guys. This is a really tall ceiling. It's probably 12 feet tall. See those black dots up there? Those are also cockroach droppings up there. This is the dorm fridge that I was telling you about earlier. This is on the complete other side of the house. There were probably 10 adult roaches. You can see them right there, um, right below that red thing. Yeah, they love refrigerators. There's always like moisture behind them and underneath. Yes. Okay, folks, we are all finished up. I would call that a successful treatment. There's my little truck sticker there. Yeah, it was a good treatment. Um, it was just a classic German cockroach infestation. A little weird at first because I think she had brought in a box and that caused the roaches to infest strange areas at first, but they were, as always, really infested in the, in the kitchen area. But the homeowner knows to clean, which is great. She's gonna work on keeping everything super clean. And it's almost Christmas, so I wished her a Merry Christmas. And I'm going to reach out to her again after the holidays are over in about three weeks. That's our normal time frame for German cockroach treatments. So for the follow-up, we're going to come back, do the same thing, just less intense. And then at that point, I think this infestation should be good to go. As long as the people are keeping everything really clean, then this is going to be a successful treatment. I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching Dan the Bugman and Catchy Pest Solutions. Very first, very first customer very first service it's gonna be a grind for the next couple months it's the end of December right now January and February are not good months to be in the pest control industry with that being said it's also nice because I'll really really be able to get my feet set my business foundation set up ready to go there's still some things I need to do with the website in that regard it will be will be nice to ease into it Come March, I'm planning on just hitting sales as much as I can, getting new customers any way I can. I'm trying to build a very big business here. It's just going to be me and my truck for a while. I'm not sure how long it's going to be before I hire another technician, but I want to grow as quickly as possible while staying profitable, of course. I'm not trying to go into a bunch of debt to grow quickly. I don't think... For me, I don't think that's a good strategy. I know a lot of businesses take on that strategy of just grow, 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 taking on lots of debt. Um, I will be advertising some. I'm going to be doing an, a lot of networking, I'm going to be doing a lot of canvassing. It's a new word. I learned canvassing. Lots of stuff like that. This has always been my opinion. 
when trying to get new customers and when trying to establish a profitable business, I'm always going to put my service first. I'm always going to do the best service possible at every single job. And that is going to go a long way with word of mouth and a long way with respect from your customers. It's it's so, so important to service your current customers well. Thank you for watching. If you're here, smash the like button and I will see you next time. Bye.